because I am looking through this little hole and this thing looks to be stuffed with parts. What the heck? Yo, there's a brand new rim in here, dude. What is up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video from Backyard Boys. If you guys are new to this channel, please lightly tap that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications. And if you guys do want to support the channel, please drop a like down below. I will really appreciate that. Guys, this is a very exciting video because we got a brand new build. And this is not your typical golf. This is a golf R. This sucker probably has like 400 wheel horsepower because it is hiding some stuff under the hood. But guys, before we do a walk around and show you guys all the damage, because as you guys can see, that rear wheel does not look good. It's got some serious rear end damage. But before that, I'm gonna take you guys through a little Copart experience of purchasing this car because many of you guys asked me, hey Tim, how much do you buy these cars for? And so and so and so. So I'm gonna take you guys, show you guys the winning bit of the vehicle. And then I'm gonna take you guys through a little experience of taking delivery on the Golf R. My filmer wasn't here, so I took some shots from iPhone, basically of my local truck driver, Yarek, delivering the car. Shout out to you once again. And then we're gonna get the car washed up because it is extremely, extremely dirty. As you guys can tell, it is just full of gunk and dirt and grime and we got a broken windshield. Very nice. But it is just literally disgusting and I can't really tell if there's dents or scratches or anything on the car. So take you guys through three of those experiences and I'll catch you guys doing a walk around the whole entire car. <laughs> Idaho takes it for 10 400. Watch it. Yo, t watch. That's not me. That's not you? No, that's not me. That's a different Idaho. There's another one playing. Oh, nice. So, Idaho, Idaho, and <laughs> Washington. <laughs> no way. Is that you, Tim? It's not, no, that's not me. That's me. Make sure it's me. Is it, some three. Is it someone on, on the same account? No, no one on the same account, because I know if it's on the same account, it's going to be green twice. Is that you? No. Oh, this is me. 10-9 is you. 12 is not you. 12-1. 12-1, the what? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No way, dude. Who is that guy? 12-300. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think he's slowing. No, I think he's slowing down. Twelve five. Twelve six. Twelve seven. Twelve seven's me. Yeah, I think he's slowing down a little bit. He's got a little bit of quit in him. And twelve seven is gone. <laughs> Boom! Bon oh, what bonus time? Why bonus time? I hate bonus time. It gives you like these shakes, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 12-7 is he yours. Yo, John, I told you it's not going to go more than like... Oh, man. I was expecting some of the 15s. 15s? We got it for 7 
right guys, well now that we got the car washed up, I hope you guys enjoyed that little Copart experience. I don't really do that in my videos, but I can start if you guys enjoyed that. And we decided not to actually like fully wash the car because first of all, it's gonna be sitting outside still for a little bit. Um, and we're in an area where there's a bunch of trees, so it's gonna get dirty while we wait for parts and things like that. But also it's got a bunch of like this, I don't know what that is, like some tree sap or something. What do you think it is? It looks like tree sap because I mean it is disgusting and it's kind of all over the car like there's a bunch here like it's just kind of everywhere so I'm gonna see find a remedy to get all that cleaned up that way when we wash it it does look brand new but while the car was still wet it did look pretty darn clean and let's go ahead and start from the front over here we're gonna walk our way around till we get to the damage and check out the interior what condition the interior is but going on to the front this front end is not a typical golf front end it's got that very aggressive bumper and I actually kind of like it a lot it's got these vents it looks pretty sick and these vents are actually like they're they're not just picture you know they're not just vents for fun they actually I'm guessing that cools off the brakes or something that one cools off the intercooler that's typical but these headlights are actually really sick as well I like this uh, kind of a glow here and I actually can turn them on right now and show you guys what I'm talking about so there they are now they are yep are they full headlight on or just the halo ring both how about now just halo so it looks pretty sick yeah so that's what it actually makes the front end look like really aggressive like it's driving towards you and um yeah that's for the front end the hood is pretty typical to a golf but we got that little pretty sick r badge over here i don't know it's a, it's, it's it's different you know like it's weird because you look it's like similar to a golf but it's not you know so that's the cool thing about it we also got some real BBS wheels and these are 19s with some brand new tires. I'm pretty sure this rim and tire combo is probably a couple grand alone. Uh, Pirelli's are nice tires and our brake pads are fresh. Dude, this thing is actually in great shape. It seems like it's been maintained and it's actually modded with some pretty expensive and quality parts. But we got no curb rash here. BBS, it says here, made in Germany. So they are actually real BBS. No damage on this fender. Can you see that made in Germany? And so we got a Golf R badge here. It's kind of very sleek sleeper. all around. Yeah, <laughs> little sleeper. Um, this door has no damage, absolutely. So this has little two dings. There's a ding right there and a little ding right there. I'm pretty sure if you wipe this off, you won't even notice those dings. Like it's just an insurance company. So guys, I worked at an insurance company and here's a little tip for you guys. The pink marker means previous damage. Basically that's non-accident related from the company I worked at and that's pretty, pretty typical. I seen it. The green one means that this is the accident related damage. So this right here just kind of is an estimate to the value of the vehicle. Basically they make these marks, they take pictures of them and however much cosmetic damage there is to the vehicle, that's what they appraise the car at. But going on to here, we have the quarter panel. It is extremely clean condition. And thinking now that I have to do that other quarter panel, I have to cut a big chunk right here and weld a huge line. And the big downside to that guys is the fact that it like shrinks it together when you weld a lot. So, or you know what I'm talking about. Basically it, it when the metal gets really hot, it likes to shrink the metal in and it's make, I gotta make sure that the gaps are clean everywhere. And this is not like crazy body lined. It's funny cause I just did my brother's golf, literally exact quarter panel on that side and it had the exact same damage and literally one to one. So I can actually pop a picture right here. So take a look at that. And I got it done pretty darn well. He was very happy with it. All right, let's go back to the rear end over here. We have quad exhaust. That's sick, honestly. I don't know, for me, I'm a huge quad exhaust fanatic and it's just like, it looks sick. It's like planted, kind of step back over here. You see how like fat it looks? Like it looks fat, see that? Anyways, and now we finally get to our damaged area. <laughs> I mean, it's not that bad, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hopefully they do have the parts like the rear bumper and I mean like the diffuser and things like that because I am looking through this little hole and this thing looks to be stuffed with parts and if you guys do or if you guys have seen my Copart walk around video, I actually checked this car out and I looked inside the car and there's a bunch of parts in it. So. That's a good sign. Hopefully they have this tail light because that tail light is pretty expensive. And yeah, we have this damage here. We got some pretty serious suspension damage. Going on here, we can see that the rim is just completely destroyed. 
up over here. I know that's gonna be an expensive rim. That's a real BBS rim. And usually when you source one rim out, it's much more expensive than just getting a whole entire set. Uh, this inner damage is really easy to repair. This all, all this stuff is really soft and it just, I can get it pulled out, hammered out once it's on the frame machine. But guys, let's go ahead into the interior. It doesn't seem to have any damage besides like a couple of dings. I mean, pretty great shape for a 2016. Going on to the interior, we can see that no airbags are blown up front and the vehicle starts and moves, but it is low on coolant. So we gotta take a look at why it's low on coolant. We have a brand new bumper for it right over there. And right now we're actually gonna go ahead and pull all the parts out because I wanna see if they damage the interior at all because on my 1M they damage the interior with stuffing it with parts. But let's go ahead and open this rear door. It's got no handle here, so hang on. You got it? <clears throat> look at that, guys. That is insane. But geez, dude, they took apart a little too much, I would say. A puzzle of its own, huh? Yeah, let's see this tail light. Oh, that's the broken tail light. Hopefully, hopefully they have a good one. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully they have the new one in here. We got a bunch of parts. Guys, this thing is stuffed with parts. Let's go open the other side. I'm actually really excited on how fast this sucker is because it's supposed to be like 300 horsepower stock or something like that. But this thing here, stay tuned. And I will show you guys what mods it has. So, okay, we have this. That's nothing here. And back over here, we have what in the world? Guys, look at that. <laughs> what the heck? Yo, there's a brand new rim in here, dude. You know what's funny? <laughs> That when we were in Copart walking around, we didn't even open this door. <laughs> Bro, what the heck? I'm pretty sure they have a new tail line there too, dude. Dude, the seat belts are on. Dude, this is like too good to be true. Look at this. Yeah, brand new, brand new. <laughs> That's the... Dude, what the heck? <laughs> That's actually insane. And it's balanced too, look at that. It's got the wheel balancing on it, look at that. Centered. So there's a centered ring in there. Oh, what? To fit this bore, you get it? <laughs> That's crazy, dude. That is crazy. All right, guys. We'll take Let, it. Yeah, we'll take <laughs> it. Let's go ahead and get all these parts out of the car and see what we need for the part, for the car. And then I guess jack it up and look at the suspension damage because that looks pretty severe. Hopefully that didn't do any frame damage or subframe damage or anything like that. So let's get all these parts hauled out of here. Nice, a bunch of parts. Um, guess I'll just start taking everything out. I don't, thing is I don't know where to put these parts. guys well this is actually really crazy and this is not something that happens very often i want to first of all shout out to the guy that stuffed all these parts inside of the car bro you're a legend you know i used to work at an insurance company and one of my jobs was when a car totaled out was to grab all the parts that were to torn apart and put them inside the car and i would put all the baggies and bolts or all the bolts in the baggies i would put everything as organized as i could to make the next owner happy i don't know i just since i was a person that bought off copart I would care for the people that were buying the cars. But going on here, we have a brand new bumper. That's a pretty sure a couple hundred bucks. A brand new side skirt. I'm pretty sure that's a couple hundred bucks as well. And then we got the handle. We got everything, guys. We got a diffuser over there. We got both the rear reflectors for this bumper. We got everything. The only thing that we do need from what I see right now is a bumper bracket. It is broken. Then we need a, a body vent or whatever this thing is called. So it goes right here and it goes inside this right here that those are really cheap then we need a rear tail light which is really cheap as well not really cheap but the fact of having all the parts needing just a tail light did we are not complaining and then we need a belt molding because this was under the seat and i'm assuming it got damaged so you guys can see 
right here. But besides that, it seems like we have all the parts. We do need a quarter skin and suspension damage. But guys, this is the very exciting part. Let's go ahead and go into the engine bay. You wanna pop the hood? So, this right here is another reason why this car is a stupid good deal. We just quickly pressure washed it under here and first things first, we have a APR intake. This was like 500 bucks, I looked it up. And then we have a APR downpipe, which is right over here. So that means something. So basically what we did, we went ahead and called APR and we gave him the VIN number. And this car was actually worked on by Octuning. It was somewhere uh, south of us and they gave us all the information about the car. So this thing is full stage two APR. It's got a stage two intercooler. It's got the APR intake, the downpipe, and a brand new clutch, and a full stage two tune. So I'm actually really pumped to see what this sucker got, kind of do a little dig in it, and um, see if we can get some quick zero to 60s. So you guys stay tuned for that. That is actually really exciting, and the fact that it was done professionally, not just at home, makes my confidence about the tune lasting and about all the parts being installed properly much higher right now what we're going to do is go ahead and pick this car up and we're going to examine all the damage under here i'm crossing my fingers we don't have any serious damage because this is an all-wheel drive car so hopefully that we don't have any i mean what's the worst that it can get realistically speaking subframe <laughs> axle but yeah i mean if the sub subframe is cracked it's cracked, you know, but we got a bunch of parts with the car, so it's still a good deal. So we actually ran into a little problem. Um, the wheel is jammed up over here. It is touching the body over here. And I am actually afraid that if I pull this wheel off, I'm gonna have to basically kind of bend the wheel and pull it off. I mean, it does kind of move a little bit, but here's the problem. I'm not gonna be able to put it back on. So what we're actually gonna do is go ahead and jack the car up higher, put a safety under the car and inspect the suspension damage from under the car. That way we can order all the parts. And when the parts come in, I'll pry this wheel off, replace the parts, and put the new wheel on. So I'm gonna go ahead and bolt the wheel back up and put a safety under and take a look under the car. All right, guys. So we got our safety up over there and I'm gonna take you guys underneath here with me so you guys can see what I am looking at. What? but let's see let's start looking let's start looking okay so we have one control arm that is shot right here that is bent that is very badly bad as a matter of fact uh thank god our drive shaft looks completely safe it is right there oh uh, there you go all the way straight and now we got one more that is crazy bat which is this front control arm and it mounts onto the body over there it's very interesting but let's take a look if our knuckle is safe and we got some shaving right here on the knuckle but interesting interesting so our subframe looks fine sway bar link looks fine lower control arm looks fine Wow, guys, this is actually very minimal damage under here, too. I gotta take a look, better examination of the knuckle, cause the knuckle's not cracked. That, that's crazy, might be too good to be true, you know? Seems fine, though. It's crazy. Guys, that's crazy. Sometimes you literally get super lucky. Like, this car is worth $20,000 plus, even with the salvage title. And if it's gonna cost, like, 15 14 with all the parts labor and you know and uh paint that's a really good deal that's crazy besides that guys seems like we have 
something APR right there right there APR mid pipe but we got a stock exhaust stock Vol Volkswagen exhaust so maybe do an exhaust silly or something this thing's gonna sound super sick or get some kind of exhaust I'm not sure just yet but comparing everything to this side I'm referencing off the side that is not hit and to the side that is hit seems like we only have two control arms that are brutally damaged but they should be really cheap because it's just golf art or just golf parts I think I mean should be the same as a regular golf even the strut looks to be safe like this is pretty crazy guys anyways guys this is actually crazy this car is just full of surprises and all the surprises are on the positive side of things but comparing to the passenger side of the suspension assembly comparing our left side which is damaged all we need is two control arms while we're talking I'm gonna be ordering the parts I mean guys this thing is gonna come together so fast you guys are not gonna want to miss any videos on this car because they're gonna be quick first of all and second of all they're gonna be very exciting we're gonna be doing some digs on it doing some zero to 60s maybe even match it up with the RS3 I don't know the RS3 is still stock it's not gonna be stock I'll tell you that much but with all that being said if you guys want to tag along and watch me rebuild this vehicle right behind me be sure to smash the subscribe button down below if you guys do want to support the channel the completely free way is to just simply drop a like down below if you guys want to support by buying some merch I will greatly greatly appreciate that but with all that being said you guys have a beautiful rest of the day and don't forget to follow my Instagram at BYB Tim because I'll be tossing a lot of sneak peeks up there and I'm gonna be tossing content out three times a week so it's hard but I love it peace out